For the purposes of these videos, I've now teleported to London. Daisy, unfortunately, is too sick to travel, so she's still at home. I've got some work stuff to catch up on here and some people to see, including finally announcing in person the winner of the jewellery competition. First thing on the agenda, catching up with a person you guys have probably missed, who I've missed for a very important business meeting. How are you? Yeah. You look a bit tired. I was a bit scared of Richmond Park. Why are you scared of Richmond Park? Haven't you heard what's been happening? Oh, the machete things! Oh, come, let's find them and beat them up. Gonna beat them up? Yeah, obviously. What, what are they gonna do? Take my hand back? <laughs> like, good I'd like to see them try. <laughs> Seriously, when was the last time this happened? One of them has been arrested. Okay. Like a 16 year old. I feel like we should probably explain properly what we're talking about. In Richmond Park, which is this big park in London, there has been a spate. What are you doing? Lowering my seat. Lowering your seat. There's been a spate of bike thefts by guys who have been wielding machetes and riding electronic scooters. At least it's sustainable. Sustainable theft. Yeah, because it's on an electric scooter. There's always a... It's not a poisoning diesel vehicle running around the park. <laughs> it really is a horrendous crime that we should sort it out. What are you going to do? Beat him up. We can use my, me as bait. <laughs> just have me next to a really beautiful looking bike, just in my wheelchair. <laughs> I'm like, oh, there's an easy target. We can have fishing line attached to the bike so as they try and ride away. <laughs> Is it illegal though? I feel like that's illegal. Yeah, but in like a competition of what's more illegal, machete robbery or just fishing line on a bike. Oh, I don't think that's how the law works. Ah, it should be. Anyway, understandably, people have been a little bit cautious riding through Richmond Park. There's been a massive decrease in the amount of people riding here uh, because of the fear of being robbed by guys with machetes. They seem to have caught one of them, so the other guys seem to be lying low at the minute. Uh, but I'm happy I'm on the mountain bike because I can ride away from the road and, and kind of more safely. Oh, let's Hang on a minute. Is that a hat a balaclava? What is this? Mountain so bike. This is a mountain bike? Yeah. With wait, proper wait, wait, suspension? Wait, yeah. Wait, let me turn the suspension on. Now the suspension is on. Wait, can I do that? Yeah. It's a mountain bike, you do whatever. It's super bouncy. It cannot break. Basically. But genuinely, it can't break. Uh, how much can I bounce it? <laughs> you can bounce it as much as you really? want. Yeah, you can send us off like, you can ride off big cliffs. Oh, bunny hop. Do a wheelie. This is one of the most powerful flashlights in the world. Flashlight? Yeah, flashlight. So basically, this will shine a light for 2,000 meters. Why do you have this? In case someone tries to use a machete to rob my handbag. <laughs> <laughs> shine him in the face. <laughs> yeah, shine him. Honestly, it's really fucking bright. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and you can like shatter glass with it. Look at those bits. Is that legal? Yeah, it's a flashlight. On the brighter side. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is daytime. Uh, not very impressive, that is it? Oh, no, that's not on the setting. I'll be honest, I don't really know how to use it properly yet. I do know that at nighttime it's really good. Daytime is not the best time to use a flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> what Justin actually wanted to see me for is to pump up his tyres because his pump's broken. My pump's not broken, it's right here. Does that actually work? Yeah. <laughs> what am I doing this for then? It was funny. Fuck's sake. <laughs> That's a really spiky conker. Need new tyres, mate. They need new wheels, right? Yeah, they are. And you need new wheels. Because they are bald. No, they're racing slicks. No. Yeah. They never had tread on them. As well as meeting up and going for a lovely bike ride, we're actually meeting up to discuss a top secret plan. A bike ride from one place to another place, which will be very, very exciting. I'll tell you any more. Huh? Cardiff to Edinburgh. <laughs> if you turn up with your bike like this, though, I think we're going to have to cancel everything. However, there's literally a max effort really? to stay on your wheel, yeah. Well, I guess the mountain bike's a bit slower. Well, climbing's fine, because that bike is like yeah, twice the weight. Climbing. You did not drop me climbing. I dropped you on that bit over there. You said you dropped me. That was downhill. No, but I dropped you on the uphill bit before the downhill. No, you didn't. Yeah. No, you didn't. Wait, check the video. I was in your dust. <laughs> I mean, you were in my dust. <laughs> yeah, you were. <laughs> so how do I charge my power meter battery? It just said that it's low. 
kind of power meter is it? It's an SRM. I think you have to send it back to them. So, I'm not joking. So they have to do everything? Well, the old ones you did, yeah. Maybe times have changed. Why would someone sell a product that you can't fix? Your screen is very dark. Oh, that's good. Yeah, sunglasses, it's not as dark. That's nice. What's this little fuzzy sticky thing here? For the wind noise. It's for the wind noise. We'll see if that came out. <laughs> Comments down below who wants to see Justin start his own YouTube channel. The channel will be all about how to not service your bike, how to make sure it's really dirty all the time and how to get your friends to help you fix it. Actually, it will be really useful bits of advice for everyday living. You know, so you can make as many jokes as you like. But actually, I'm trying to help people, Francis. What are you trying to do? When was the last time you helped a disabled person? Today. Yeah, but did they want your help? No, you just went in there and assumed. You asked me. Not what I remember it as. Like a glove. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Do you want to draft me? So lovely to catch up with Justin and discuss future plans. And that's not the last you're seeing of him because we're heading to a party over in London this evening and hopefully catch up with a few others I haven't seen in a long time. Look at this, this is supposed to be a park. It's just cars. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Justin? Uh, that was fun. I managed to find you. Guys, that was a pretty intense experience trying to find Justin. Basically, he took a wrong turn. We were going to meet together in the middle of London. Stupid idea, anyway. So we thought because of live location, we would just <laughs> find each other. It was like being in a video game, following a map. <laughs> and the problem was, you kind of got to keep moving if you're in London traffic, so Justin couldn't stop. I was trying to catch him, and then we were both going in the same direction. I was trying to walk to keep uh, wearing a big puffer coat. What a mess. <laughs> you, you ran from up here, from down here. Well, yeah, I was about here when I found you. I definitely should have just waited and just taken some really cool footage for 20 minutes. But I appreciate the effort, and it's good for cyclists to run occasionally. It employs different muscle groups. <laughs> Right, you want to see how bright it actually is? We have to fulfill this story arc of the video. So like, you shine it there, and then it goes over there. <laughs> this is for you. There's a card in there for two free drinks each. Oh, I didn't do that very well. Can I do it again? Can I do another one? I want loads. I want like 400 of them. How small are your arms? Yeah, really small. You get Just use it normally. It's a surprisingly heavy camera.